Ian Farquhar, a lifelong friend of King Charles, passed away at the Highgrove estate of the monarchy at the age of 78. The well-known hunter was also the Queen Mother's equestrian and had even been a member of the British Army's Queen's Own Hussars Cavalry Regiment. Living in a rented farmhouse on the king's estate for many years, Mr. Farquhar was also good friends with Queen Camilla. He allegedly passed away there on Wednesday morning. Camilla's first husband and friend, Brigadier Andrew Parker Bowles, described the situation as very sad and mentioned that he had been ill for a few months. As wild as a hawk in his youth, but always great fun, was how he characterized his pal. Parker Bowles went on to say that Farquhar, who was known as the captain, will go down in history as one of the greatest master of hounds. According to a source, he used to drive across the fields to have supper with the king, but he would leave his car when it became severely bogged down and wait for tractors to come to its help. After leaving the army, Ian wed Pammy Jane Chafer, the two went on to have three kids together. Charles and Farquhar's relationship deepened when Prince William, following his Eton A-level graduation in 2000, had a brief romantic relationship with Rose Farquhar. She was said to be the Prince of Wales's first love when they first met at the Beaufort Polo Club in Gloucestershire. Before William met Kate at St Andrews University in Scotland, he would have romantic picnics in the Gloucestershire countryside with his friend Rose. The Prince attended her wedding to George Gemmell in 2022, demonstrating their continued friendship to this day. Although they continued to live apart, Farquhar and Pammy Jane were able to mend their connection over time after their separation. For 34 years, Mr. Farquhar served as the Beaufort Hunt Master. Based on the Badminton Estate, it's the biggest and oldest fox hunt in the West Country. The Hunting Act permits parties to trail hunt by following the scent of animals even if fox hunting was outlawed in 2004. It is with broken hearts we send our love and condolences to the family and friends of our own Captain Ian Farquhar, who so brilliantly piloted us for 34 years and passed away peacefully this week. The page said in an Instagram post that included a video featuring multiple images of Ian throughout his life, the hunting community adored and admired Captain, as he was affectionately called, because he was courteous, encouraging, and always available to offer wise, forward-thinking counsel to anyone who asked that he had a wicked sense of humor. And those who were fortunate enough to spend time with him will always cherish the stories he told about his incredibly interesting and exciting life in the army and on the hunt. According to the Post, Mr. Farquhar is a genuine countryman and gent and his life's hobbies are his hounds, his family, and dogs. King Charles receives the news of his friends dying while he continues his cancer treatment and performs occasional royal duties. Yesterday, he visited Buckingham Palace with Jamaica's High Commissioner, Alexander Williams, who was accompanied by his spouse, Carol Watson Williams. While receiving treatment for an unidentified type of cancer, the king has cancelled all public appearances. However, he has continued to hold audiences and do desk responsibilities inside the palace. Soon after they assume their positions, high commissioners and ambassadors stationed in London are expected to have a meeting with the monarch. Following a Skype conversation with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Charles had his meeting. The king had already met with Samba Mamadou, the ambassador of Mauritania, and Nuruddin Yazid, the ambassador of Algeria. Following hospital treatment for an enlarged prostate earlier this year, a condition that was unrelated, the king was diagnosed with an unidentified kind of cancer. The Princess of Wales had treatment in the same hospital where she had stomach surgery in January for an undisclosed ailment.